Problem 2.12. This is a one-dimensional steady conduction case. It has constant properties and it has no internal heat generation. We have a wall of length with a prescribed conductivity and two values of temperatures, one at each side. We have three different cases in which the location of the origin varies and also the location of the values of the temperatures. The goal is to find that the heat flux for each one of the cases and the temperature gradient for each one of them. We'll start the analysis by defining Fourier's law on the x-axis. The flux in the x-axis is given by the conductivity and the gradient of the temperature. Since it's one-dimensional problem, this could be simply defined as dt dx. Notice at the same time that we could define dt dx to be the change of the final temperature minus the initial temperature divided by the distance between them, delta x. Let's just start with part A. The gradient of the temperature, in this case, is given by 600 Kelvin, which is the temperature at L, minus 400 Kelvin, which is the temperature at the position zero, divided by the distance, which is 0.1 meter. This value gives you 2,000 Kelvin per meter. If we substitute this value into the flux, for this particular case, we get a flux of negative 2 times 10 to the fifth watts per meter square. Let's continue with part B. The gradient in this case is going to be the temperature at L is going to be 400 kelvins, and the temperature at zero is going to be 600 kelvins. Once again, we divide by the distance between it, and it's going to be 4 1 meter. In this case, the value of the gradient is equal to negative 2000 kelvins per meter. Once again, if we substitute into the flux equation, we found that the flux value is now going to be positive 2 e to the fifth watts per meter square. Let's now do part C. The gradient of the temperature for this case is going to be defined as the temperature at L is going to be 600 Kelvin. The temperature at point zero is once again 400. And the distance of between them is going to be 0.1 meter. This gradient is going to be equal to positive 2,000 Kelvin per meter. Once again, if we evaluate the value of the flux, any value we substitute is going to give us negative 2 e to the fifth watt per meter square. So notice that the values of the fluxes for the three cases are exactly the same. What changes depending on the location of the temperature is whether it's positive or negative. 